Today we're going to embark on a transformative journey, a journey where you'll discover the boundless power you hold within to shape your own reality. You see, many people go through life thinking they're just a small cog in a big machine, that they have no control over their destiny. But that's far from the truth. You are not just a passive observer, you are an active creator. The universe is like clay, and you are the sculptor. Your thoughts, your emotions, and your intentions are the tools that shape this clay. So let's not underestimate the power of intention. When you send out positive intentions into the universe, you're essentially placing an order, much like you would in a restaurant. But remember, the universe is a very literal waiter. If you're vague, you'll get vague result. So be specific, be clear, and most importantly, be conscious of what you're asking for. How do we get better at this? How do we become master sculptors of our own reality? This is where the fascinating subjects of past life regressions and future progressions come into play. Imagine for a moment that your soul is like a library. Each book in that library is a different life you've lived or will live. Past life regressions allow you to pull out those dusty old volumes from the past, to learn from them, to understand your soul's journey. You see, the energy you carry from your past lives can influence your present reality. Understanding this can give you incredible insights into why certain patterns keep appearing in your life. But we're not just limited to looking back, we can also look forward. Future progressions allow you to peek into the upcoming chapters of your soul's journey. By doing this, you can align your energy with the future you desire, making it easier to manifest that reality in the present. So you've grasped the idea that you're an active creator in your life, and you've even started to explore the depths of your past and the heights of your future. But none of this will matter if you're not crystal clear about what you want. I can't stress this enough. Specificity is key. Think about it like this. If you walk into a restaurant and simply say, I'm hungry, you leave it up to the waiter to decide what you'll eat. You might end up with something you don't like or can't eat. The same principle applies to life. If you're vague about your desires, the universe will fill in the blanks and you might not like what it chooses. So take some time to really think about what you want. Write it down, speak it out loud, make it as real as you can in your mind. Once you're clear on what you want, the next step is to visualize it. And I don't mean just a fleeting thought or a vague daydream. I mean a vivid, detailed, immersive visualization. Close your eyes and see it, feel it, experience it as if it's happening right now. This is more than just a mental exercise. It's a powerful form of creation. When you visualize something with such intensity, you're sending out a strong vibrational frequency to the universe. You're saying, this is what I want and I know it's already mine. I've used this technique myself, visualizing my books on bookstore shelves before they were even published. And guess what, it worked. My books found their way to those shelves just as I had seen in my mind's eye. You might be wondering, does this, does this really work? Can I truly manifest my desires just by being specific and visualizing them? Well, let me share a little story with you. My daughter was struggling in nursing school, overwhelmed by the coursework and the pressure, but instead of giving in to despair, she decided to visualize her success. Every night before bed, she would close her eyes and see herself acing her exams, completing her assignments with ease, and eventually walking across the stage to receive her nursing degree. And you know what happened? Her grades improved, her confidence soared, and she did indeed graduate with flying colors. 
This isn't magic. It's the law of attraction in action. Your mind is a powerful tool, and when you use it to focus on positive outcomes, you set in motion a chain of events that make those outcomes a reality. Let's talk about something that often trips people up. The how. You've identified what you want, you've visualized it, but then you start to worry about how it's all going to come together. Here's the thing. You don't need to know how it will happen. In fact, worrying about the how can actually be counterproductive. When you focus too much on the mechanics, you limit the universe's ability to bring your desires into your life in unexpected, miraculous ways. You see, the universe has an infinite number of ways to deliver your desires, ways you can't even begin to imagine. So don't box yourself in by worrying about the how. Instead, focus on the what and the why and let the universe take care of the rest. Trust that things will unfold as they should, often in ways that surprise and delight you. So, the next time you find yourself getting bogged down by the details, the logistics, the how, take a step back and remind yourself that your job is to be clear about what you want and why you want it, and then to send that desire out into the universe with as much positive energy as you can muster. The how is not your concern. It's the universe's job. And let me tell you, the universe is very good at its job. I know some of you might be thinking, I've been trying to manifest my desires, but nothing's happening. Time is ticking away and I'm getting anxious. I understand that feeling, but let me reassure you, time is a construct we've created to make sense of our earthly experience. In the grand scheme of things, time is fluid. It's not your enemy, it's simply a measure of change. So don't let the ticking clock add pressure to your manifesting process. Instead, use that sense of time to fuel your urgency in a positive way. Take action, however small, that aligns with your desires. Whether it's making a phone call, writing a plan, or even just setting aside time each day to visualize. These actions send a powerful message to the universe that you're serious about your intentions. And speaking of time, let's talk about a wonderful exercise that I like to call the future progression exercise. This is a guided visualization where you project yourself into the future to experience your desires as if they've already manifested. Close your eyes and imagine you're standing at the base of a grand staircase. Each step you take brings you closer to your future. When you reach the top, you'll find three doors, one leading one year into the future, another three years, and the last one, five years. Choose a door, open it, and step through. As you walk, the fog of uncertainty lifts and you find yourself in your future reality. Look around, what do you see? Who's there with you? How do you feel? Take it all in and when you're ready, bring that vision back with you to the present moment. This exercise not only boosts your manifesting power, but also gives you a taste of the wonderful experiences that await you. You've done the work, you've been specific about your desires, uh, visualized them, and even taken a trip into your future. Now comes the most crucial part, trust. Trust in the universal laws that govern our existence. These laws are as real as the law of gravity, and they work whether you believe in them or not. But belief, my friends, acts as a catalyst. When you trust that your desires are on their way to you, you create a powerful vortex of energy that speeds up the manifestation process. It's like telling the universe, I know you've got this and I'm ready to receive. This trust isn't blind faith. 
It's a deep knowing that comes from understanding how the universe operates. It's the final piece of the puzzle, the key that unlocks the door to your desires. I want you to carry this trust with you. Trust in yourself, trust in the universe, and most importantly, trust in the incredible co-creative power that exists between the two. You are not a mere spectator in this grand play of life. You are the director, the actor, and the audience, all rolled into one. So take charge, make conscious choices, and watch as the universe rearranges itself to make your dreams come true.